Okay, this is just a short video on uh, how to use your, your, your new Hive. This is the app, uh, it's just a familiarization video really, just so you can get started and have a mooch round. Uh, we're probably not gonna go into absolutely everything on here, but we're gonna give you an idea of how to use it. So looking at the screen as it stands at the moment, you can see this screen here, which is one that you'll uh, become very familiar with because that's the one you'll normally see on your phones. Uh, when you pop it on. As you can see, starting from the top there, you can see when it was last updated, uh, the house temperature, um, frost protected, because we're only set at seven degrees at the moment. We've got the boost function at the bottom, which I'll come to in a moment, and then you've got your, uh, your uh, selector at the, along the bottom there, and you've got manual, schedule, and off. Off is obviously what you're gonna be using in the summer. Schedule is ho hopefully where we've set you and got you up and running and gone through uh, when we've installed it with potentially with a boiler. And manual is if, for instance, it's Christmas and you're all at home or you're off sick and you just want the heating to be on all the time. So if we press that, set that to the temperature we want, we wanna be comfortable at, and then we leave it there and it'll sit there at that temperature and keep your house at that temperature uh, forever if you left it. Obviously, you're probably gonna to wanna to start about 21 degrees, 20 degrees, and you can see the colors change, the warmer colors as you get higher. Schedule, we go into that, and obviously this is where it'll come on at predetermined times and temperatures that you will have set up. Uh, on top of that, you've also got the boost facility. Now the boost facility is, let's say for instance, the heating isn't coming back on now until two o'clock. Uh, we're only gonna be looking for seven degrees there, so it really isn't gonna be coming on. So let's say we've come home, we're just gonna get showered and changed, and then we're back out again, so we might wanna boost it for an hour. So if we go into that, press the boost button, and then it will give us an option of what we wanna boost it to, and also the stop boost. So if we press the, the uh, option of time there, you'll see that we can scroll to whatever. So we wanna boost it for just the hour. So we pop it onto the hour and away we go. So that'll boost it for an hour. For an hour. Um, and you'll see that the countdown started. Now, obviously at the moment, we're only asking for seven degrees and nothing's gonna change. So if we boost that for an hour and we set it to 20, that'll give us 20 degrees, just while we're milling around in the house until we go out. It won't affect any of your times. It'll just boost that heating temperature for the hour and then it will revert back to your times. Um, let's say your plans change and you think, oh, well, I'm popping out now, I don't need to be in. You just press stop boost and that will take you back to where you was before. So if you look across the bottom here, um, you've got control, schedule, and then actions. Forget actions for the time being, that's for another uh, video. What we've got is the control. That's the screen that we're in now and we wanna, shed we wanna go and pop over to the schedule, which is the next screen along. And you can see here, you can see our day, it's Thursday, and it's telling you what we've got on here and how we've got it set up to. So the bubbles here are temperatures. So you can see at the, mo at the moment, uh, this morning it was on from six till 7.15, uh, and then we're only asking for seven degrees from 7.15 right the way up till 5.30, and then from 5.30 till nine, we're asking for 20 degrees, and then from uh, nine o'clock till the following morning, we're only asking for seven degrees. Now that doesn't mean to say you have to have those, you can set them to whatever you want and move them bubbles. So you can have it to come on at dinner time, you can have it stepped through the day. So it, you know it goes up in temperature just before you come home. And you don't even have to have the in between your days at that factory uh, seven degrees. So if we press it, you can see what option it gives us here. So what we can do is we can alter that. Let's say for instance, we don't want the house to drop below 14 degrees, which is what I've got on my house. It just gives you a shelf temperature that your house will never ever drop below. So if we go for that, this is our eco temperature. So as I've said in the previous video, take it with the hive that it's always on. It's always looking for a temperature. I always say to people, see it as eco and comfort. So your eco temperature is like the house temperature that you don't, your, your temperature you don't want your house to drop below. And your comfort temperature is the temperature that you want when you're at home. And that's probably the best way to explain it. So what we're gonna do is just for an example, is we're gonna set this to 14 degrees for this time slot here. Obviously, if you wanted to alter the time as well, we could do so. We're at the moment, we're altering the, the, the start time. So we'll let's just change it a little bit just so we can uh, show you. And then we're gonna press the end time there. And again, we're gonna change that just so to, uh, we can show you. So you can bin it off if you don't like that, or you can save it. And you'll see that on that there, it will change which it hasn't. So if we press on that again, change that to 21. Okay, so we're gonna change that to uh, 21. We'll change it to 21 just for example. We're gonna change the time. We change that to end. So if we press save, 
there you go, it's changed it to, it did want to do that to 14, but let's just do it so you know. We always got to remember just to save it, because if you do this and you don't save it, it won't have it, so if you press save, yes, okay, so we've, you can see it alters it there, and you can do that as many times as you want, and then you can do that on every day. Now let's say, for instance, we've done that on Thursday, but every single one of our days are going to be the same, or Monday to Friday is going to be the same. If we press the plus up here, we can copy today's schedule um, to every day. So if we press copy that, we can tick all of those and that'll save you going through them all individually. You can save a lot of time doing it that way. So that's basically setting up your schedule. So just remember your times and your temperatures on there. Always remember the last one will follow through to the next morning. So if you want it through the night to not drop below tw um, you know, uh, 12 degrees, set that one at 12 degrees and through the night, if we do have a frost in the winter, it'll protect your house a little bit more and it'll stop it from dropping down to a, a too low a temperature. So if we go back up to here, obviously you've got your list of icons here. This is like your home screen. So if you have more devices, they will show on here, your family of devices. Underneath that, we've got manage. So we've got manage, uh, you've got your devices and groups. So if we go into that, again, you can see there's a lot of devices on here. You won't see as many as this because this has got quite a few um, products here. You, you, you potentially will see, well, you will see hub uh, and obviously you'll see your heating uh, thermostat and you will see your receiver um, and any other devices that you've added to that. So that's not, it's a, it's a nice little uh, screen to go to to see how your devices are looking and you can see the signal strengths and the battery. If anything's battery powered, you can see the, the battery life and you can see the signal strength on those. So it's a nice little easy um, screen to go to. So if we come out of them and go back to home, you can see you've got your details there, so you can change the name of the device so it shows up uh, on your device, uh, you know, your family name or whatever you want to customise it to. Install devices is just that, it's just a screen you can go into where you can uh, install additional devices. Uh, we're not going to go into that at the moment because literally it's just getting you uh, up and running and a familiarisation. Actions, I'm just going to briefly touch on actions because it is quite a useful thing. Once you've got more products um, fitted to your Hive uh, family of uh, products, you can actually get them to work together. So, I mean, I'll just read out the example you got there. So if you've got a window sensor or a door sensor, you can have it so that they work together. So that, I don't know, say for example, you've got a, uh, a window sensor on your front door, you can have it that... When the front door opens between certain hours, you can bring on your smart bulb in your hall or something like that. So you can see how that's that's kind of what an action is. Not really going to go into it too much, but that you know, just so you know what it is. Then we've got settings. Um, I'm not going to really drop into any, all of these, but you've got account details, which will be your own. Pin lock, self-explanatory. Change password again, self-explanatory. Help and support is just that. You can you know, if you're getting any problems, anything you need to know about, if that's where you drop into. Shop might be a handy one if you want to uh, enlarge your portfolio of Hive products. You can go onto there and it'll just take you to the uh, website. Refer a friend is just that and I obviously log out. So that's just a basic overview, very, very quick skipping over it, just to give you an idea of how to get yourself up and running and started with it. So, um, you know, so you can start getting uh, a, a use of it. Obviously, this you probably potentially won't see because this is, this is uh, quite a, an extensive uh, list of products that we've got fitted to this particular one. So if you want to go into the heating or any of the others, we're just going to show you how to get into it and literally press the heating and it'll take you back to that control screen that we've gone back to. So hopefully that's of some use to you. Um, we will just scoot across into settings just because I think we didn't go into that one. So you can set a lot more on this. This is a very brief video, but you can set, set things like notifications if your house goes below a certain temperature or above a certain uh, temperature. Obviously, geolocation, holiday mode, device information, rename devices. There's a lot more stuff that you can actually go into here. Not for this video, but it's just obviously to give you an overview of what's available to you. Um, so yeah, have a go. Once you get a bit more familiar with it, we'll put more videos on so uh, you can go a little bit deeper if you so wish to. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching and hopefully you get something out of it. Thanks again.